Hey guys, so here it is, the question and answers that you've been waiting for. And I thank you all for giving me some great questions to answer because it helps you to get to know me and my channel better. And so let's get started. Heather had asked, what are your favorite books and documentaries on vegan lifestyle? Um, I can honestly say that I have not read any books on the subject yet. There are some great documentaries that have really changed the way that I, completely the way that I'm thinking, and um, that have really pushed me to decide to become vegan. And the reason I say become vegan is because it's still a work in progress. I mean, I'm not eating completely raw. I do eat uh, the vegan alternatives, the processed food. And I am loving it. I'm having, you know, different things that I thought that I was going to be giving up and I'm not. So I don't feel deprived at all. Um, if you look at my playlist, there's great recipes on Chinese, um, you know, chicken, uh, spaghetti, meatballs, and, you know, just a variety of things that I've been able to enjoy. I've been able to have potato soup and, you know, things that I thought that I was going to be giving up. So make sure you check those out if you're interested. And um, some of the great documentaries that I have watched as of recently, and these can be found on Netflix or you can just search YouTube, but you'll probably find them, I'm sure, would have to be, I would say, Vegucated was the one that really tipped me over the edge. Now, I had been a vegetarian actually before this. Um, I started probably when I started the transformation Thursday, I would say around January. I decided to, um, not even January, I think it was later than that, I think it was maybe February, I decided to stop eating, um, you know, meat per se. But I was still eating seafood and I was still eating dairy um, and I was eating eggs. And I was eating a lot of eggs, guys. I was terrible. I would buy the whole carton of eggs and I would eat about six of them boiled eggs a day. And that's not good. And um, also crab meat, which was imitation crab meat. So you really don't even know what it was made of. Anyhow, um, I was eating that constantly. Mozzarella sticks. I could have owned stock in that company, <laughs> quite literally. Um, I was buying mozzarella sticks so much. You know, it was a light version or whatever because it was only one or two points on Weight Watchers. But that doesn't mean that you can go and eat. I would have to say probably about six a day would be a good estimate and that's no lie um, also a lot of bread and a lot of things like that so definitely um, vegucated vegucated I'm not sure how it's pronounced was one that was such an eye-opener to me um, it's beyond amazing um, I will give you a warning if you watch it have plenty of tissues because you will ball your eyes out um, it really opened up my eyes to the way that things are in this world, but I'm not going to get too much into that. I don't want you to think that I'm going to, um, all of a sudden, you know, try to transform you, but I just want you to, um, think about it. What this program, what this documentary did is they took just some random people and they found three, three of them that were willing to participate. They weren't given any money to do it, um, for six weeks. This, uh, the documentary leader, her name was Marissa Wolfson, I believe it is, and for six weeks they had to go um, vegan, and that means no animal products at all, and they were, you know, huge meat eaters and everything, and they went through this program, they talked to many specialists and um, activists and different people that showed them different, you know, lights and views of, of the process. And um, they even went to some slaughterhouses and different things like that. But we won't get into that. Um, for six weeks, they were able to do it. Uh, most of them came out as being completely vegan afterwards. Um, some went to mostly vegan and some went to a vegetarian. So, and there was even little kids of the one mom who also went on that as well. Another great one I would say is called Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. And that was by Joe Cross. And if you haven't heard of him, make sure you Google it. Um, it is on Netflix as well. Uh, they do have Fat and Sick and Nearly Dead too, And it was just a really big eye-opener for me. And that's really what jump-started me to get my Nutribullet out and really 
really, really um, be faithful on doing it. I don't juice at this time. Um, juicing is um, where you take mainly all your vegetables and fruit and can just juice it right out. But the thing with that is you're wasting a lot of the product because you're not putting in, you know, it's not grinding everything up. I do use the Nutribullet. and I am not sponsored in any way, but I do use it because it does keep all the nutrients there and it's just an easier thing for me. Um, another thing with juicing completely is it, um, they recommended that they tried it. And in that program, they did try it for, I think it was 10 days or a month of just completely juicing with no food or anything. Not even food, I'm sorry, because juice is food. Vegetables are food. But I mean any other food. They can only juice. And um, But he went off of all his medications and just, you know, the transformation was huge. And you could see it as he was going, like how his motivation and everything changed. So I highly recommend that program as well. Another one is Cowspiracy, and if you're into like the environmental aspects of being vegan, that's a great one. That is on Netflix as well. Um, there is another one called Earthlings, which I, I'm not even sure if I would recommend that one because it is, it's, it's very bad. It just, uh, I won't get into that. But anyhow, Emily asks, or M asks, do I have any other YouTube channels and have I vlogged in the past? Um, my other YouTube channel was Junk and Sale and Fun Life for me. And I decided to change to what I am now because I felt like that wasn't representing where I am at this point. When I did Junk and Fun Sale and Life for me, or Junk and Sale and Fun Life, see I can't even say my own name. <laughs> uh, and that's another reason why I changed too. I, I did that because my my channel was going to be based mainly and solely on home decor, thrifting, you know, thrift shopping and yard sales. And that is one of the things that I love to do. It, I'm still going to have some of those things on this channel, but my biggest motivation right now is I'm going to be 45 this summer. And as I've mentioned in the past, my children have moved out. I feel like I'm in a whole nother stretch of my life. and. I'm working on trying to be a healthier, happier person. I feel like I've wasted too much of my life being unhealthy and unhappy. And it was time to change that. And I am going to work and do whatever it takes to get to that point. So that's a great question. Um, I also did have a YouTube channel in the past and it was uh, Mrs. Treasure Troll. I used to be very big into couponing and that was real um, fun. I'm not so much now. I still love to save money, don't get me wrong. I just don't go to the way that I used to do it. Uh, let's see here. I also tried to do a quick YouTube channel, which I did not do very long. And that was um, pretty much a downer chan channel because it was focusing on my health or their lack of. And this was a few years back. And so I canceled that channel. Uh, let's see here. Do, Okay, have I vlogged in the past? Does family and friend know about my YouTube channel? Yes and no. Um, my husband knows that I do it. <laughs> and um, he I don't think he watches them. And if he does, hi there. <laughs> um, I try to keep it a little bit to myself because this is something for me. You know, everything has been about my family. Everything has been about everybody else. And I have to take the time to do something for myself and it's not just for me I should say because I'm motivating someone out there someone watching this right now is getting some kind of motivation from what I am doing and that makes it a hundred percent plus worth every second of filming every second of editing putting myself out there makes it extremely worth it and I couldn't be prouder like I said, if I just motivate one person, I am a happy person. Um, so that is my biggest motivation right there. Um, as far as coworkers and things, they do not know that I have a YouTube channel. And if they do, well, hello there. <laughs> um, you know, this is something that I am extremely passionate about right now. I need to do this. It's 
it has helped me in so many ways I can't even tell you um, it's great for just to meet people I've met wonderful wonderful people um, and I couldn't ask for more so that's that's the answer to that um, what inspired me to start YouTube in the first place um, when I did videos a long time ago I'm not really sure what got me to do my first video I used to watch a lady I think her name was April's losing it or something like that she has not vlogged in a long long time but she was um, on weight loss and she did amazing she lost like I think a hundred pounds or something she was just a huge inspiration to me at the time and at the time I even did some exercising on a video which is something that I would have never done and so that did inspire me greatly uh, let's see here spanky spanky cola asked what is the hardest and easiest thing about losing weight and what is my weakness and I'm gonna apologize right now for my doggies but I'm gonna keep this rolling because that's what my channel is about and I'm just gonna be real like that so spanky cola asked like I said what is the hardest and easiest thing about losing weight and what is my weakness meaning food and um, emotion so the hardest thing about losing weight and about this journey is the journey itself and um, the journey is that I need to find happiness and whatever that is if it's not the weight I need to find it in my heart and I'm working on that because I have days where I am happy you know and just I'll use it for an example for the walk I did today and I think it was about two and a half three miles which for me is extremely wonderful um, I was walking and I was walking like a rural path and a song came on and it was a song called I will see you again and the artist is escaping my mind right now but it's a really popular one on the radio right now and if you don't know my son is away in the military one of them and my other one is out of state as well and I have not seen them at all except for skyping and talking on the phone and there was even times where I did not even get to talk to my son or have any communication at all except for letters and that has been the hardest struggle that I could have ever gone through in my life and it still is and um, I find myself crying for no reason and well it's really not for no reasons because I miss them terribly um, but they're my motivation they are what keeps me going I can't even tell you how much they motivate me my one son for being in the military has motivated me so much that I wear one of his bands armband for the radio and I use his water bottle as motivation and when I'm wearing that and I'm going for a walk the inspiration I get is incredible I can't even tell you enough I feel empowered is the best word I could say and my other son who has struggled with ADHD and things when he was younger he was always behind in school and always behind in, in his um, learning abilities he has inspired me so much right now too because he is has been promoted in his job he's doing wonderful and he's doing things like he's working out you know he's always been self-conscious about taking his shirt off and things and he's never been heavy you know but he had a little bit of a gut and um, you know so they're they're just inspiring me beyond words but um, so that's been the hardest part is staying focused because when you get emotional like that the first thing you want to do is grab you know food food has been my crutch so instead of food I decided to take it and uh, go for walks and I find that the most relaxing thing ever if you're ever feeling down or depressed or uninspired just go for a really long nature walk it is the best medicine for you you know food food is is something that you try to hide your emotions with and it and it's not going to help it's not going to make you happy 
Same with, if you think that losing all the weight is going to make you the happiest person, I hate to say it, but that's not going to happen. You have to do it from within. You have to do it in your mind, your body, your spirit, like we've all been starting to learn. Um, and it's a hard struggle. It really is. You're going to have days where, weeks where you're going to lose weight. You're going to have weeks where you're going to gain weight. You know, you're going to have weeks where you're going to stay the same. You just have to stay positive. You have to know that, um, I think it's Miley Cyrus in that one song that is truly inspiring. Um, it's called It's the Climb. I'm sure you've all heard of it. You know, it's not how we get there. It's the climb because it it matters. It really does. Um, so I guess my weakness is my emotions because they're so up and down right now. I don't know if it's because I'm going to be 45. I'm going through a, you know, stage of life. Um, you know, I'm going through the empty nest syndrome. Um, I'm working full time. You know, a lot of stress in my job and at home. Uh, just a lot of things and the first thing you want to do is just grab a bag of chips you know and so that is my weakness for sure the easiest thing like I said is the inspiration that I'm getting from my boys it's amazing it really truly is um, so draw inspiration from whatever you find that inspires you the most and just use it use it to your advantage I also draw my inspiration from you guys I love you all dearly. I can't tell you enough what you've meant to me. Um, I, I don't even tell things to friends that I have in real life that I'm telling to you right now. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, Janine asked, are you still doing Weight Watchers while being vegan? At this point, no, because, and I'll tell you why. Um, I was finding that when I was doing my shakes in the morning, I don't even know if you want to call them shakes, but veggie, you know, Nutribullet. A lot of it had zero points and a lot of things that I'm eating like salad and um, a lot of fresh fruit veggies and things like that don't have any points um, I could count the points that are in my dinners like with the you know chicken alternatives and things like that I've decided not to at this point I don't know if I'll go back to it or not I'll, I'll let you guys all know if I decide to but I am still a hundred percent supporting anybody that's on Weight Watchers and it is a great program I can't say anything bad about it and if it works for you, then by all means, go for it. That's just it. You have to find what works for you. I think that me on this journey to becoming vegan has really helped a lot. And I think it's going to help way more. I am down to one medication. That's blood pressure medication. And that is out of a ton of medications. I have even one of those little organizers for my medication, which is sick. If I took every medication that I have currently right now, I probably would not be talking to you at this point. Anyhow, I'll get into that in another video, I think. Um, Melody from Transforming Melody had asked, what is my favorite vegan recipe? I have to say my absolute favorite because I love Chinese food and because I don't want to feel deprived is my Chinese version chicken um, with the Gardenian brand. I adore it. I love it. Love, love, love that. Check out my playlist and you'll see that recipe. It is amazing. Uh, it says, how long have you and your husband been vegan or been on the vegan lifestyle? Actually, it was not my husband and I. Um, my husband decided, and it's been about two years, which I can't believe it's been two years already. He decided to be vegan. But let me explain that to you. Um, he was vegan, but he was also eating donuts, glazed donuts and as far as he knew, they were vegan. They might not be, but we were buying them by the box. We were, it's a thing called truckload. And when I say truckload, it's a dozen glazed donuts. We would eat probably about three of them a piece per sitting. Um, and the vegan sausages, which are amazing by the way, he would eat three of those on a bun with the toppings. Um, lots of rice, lots of pasta. You know, so we've been doing all that, and that's why he is on the heavier side now, and I'm heavy as well. But now we are changing it up. I have just started to become vegan. I was a vegetarian for a while, I'd say since February, and but I was still eating dairy, I was eating eggs, I was eating seafood. 
now, um, like I mentioned earlier, since watching that veganated, um, vegetated or whatever it's called program, I decided to get on board and be supportive of my husband as well and just go completely vegan. I'm not perfect. I'm not a perfect vegan at all. Um, I'm just deciding to not eat animal products. So I guess plant-based diet. I'm trying to also cut out things like um, not purchasing leather and, you know, trying to find home products that are not tested on animals as well. So I'm working on that. I do want to eat a lot more fruits and veggies raw. I might even do the raw until four. I'm not sure yet. Uh, let's see here. So basically my husband was on it for about two years. Um, he did even go to where he was eating like tons and tons of bananas. He got a lot of slack from family and friends. Um, he still does. And you know, that's the hardest part about it is a lot of people asking, you know, how can you do this, you know, or why do you do it? Or, or when he would eat something, they would say, well, don't you realize there's, you know, milk in it or whatever. So that's been a huge struggle. And um, a lot of times he'll go out to lunch and they'll want, you know, all this food or whatever. And he chooses different food. But you can still go out and eat. And I will show you soon in a video of what you can enjoy still. So you're really not giving up that much. Not as much as you think. Um, so that's why I started. I wanted to be supportive of him as well. Because I would eat meat even though he was against it, I still ate it. And we should be in this together. And we have actually just started in our entire relationship, and we've been together for at least 26 years. Um, we have never, ever gone for a jog together. And we just last week went for a walk and a mini jog together. We've never done that. I told him I want to grab a tent and on a weekend that I have off of work, I want to go and um, we have a nice park that's secluded and everything. I want to go for a nice long hike. I want to camp out. You know, it's things that don't cost a lot of money. I want to go down to the lake. I want to walk the, the point and I want to like walk the whole entire thing and just go for a nice hike. I want to walk the beach. I don't even remember the last time my husband and I have gone swimming in, in at the beach. And it's a lake. I've never seen an ocean, guys. That would be one of my bucket list things. Um, so, yeah. So, we're doing things together. And that's amazing. What is my favorite hobby? Well, I've had a lot of hobbies, guys. I have tried selling on eBay. I have... My hobby is going yard selling. My hobby is thrift shopping. Um, my hobby is YouTube. And YouTube is my life right now, really, um, besides work. So those are, I guess, my hobbies. I really don't do much of anything else. I don't um, crochet. I don't, you know, I don't sew. I don't um, do a lot of that stuff. I don't do, like, crafts and things like that. So my hobby is this, YouTubing and um, thrift shopping, for sure. I'm addicted so much. That's definitely my hobbies. Well, thank you, guys. I appreciate this. Um, I'm sorry if this video was long. I hope you stayed through the whole thing. You know, if you ever have any questions, feel free to ask me at any time. I'll be glad to answer them for you. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I thank you all so much for your true support and being here on my channel. And if you are new here, welcome. There's so much we can learn from each other. Have a great day, everyone.